Ah, yo, so there's like 4 minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. It's already over. Truth be told, it's been over after that Boston Scott uh, run in for a touchdown. I mean, what is it with New York teams? Alright, just New York teams in general. And guarding, and guarding short dudes. They can't guard them for anything, bro. This Boston Scott reminds me of what Altuve did to the Yankees in the um, the championship series um, in 2017. Yankees couldn't guard Altuve for anything, and he basically won that series for Houston. It was a really closely fought series. And then now, over in New York, we can't guard a 5'6". I believe that's his height. Uh, small but really agile dude in Boston Scott for anything like there's it just seems like nobody on our defense can tackle him Some of you notice some of you don't but some of you know I got a turtle my turtle could probably tackle Boston Scott be better than what the Giants are doing right now It's crazy That this small dude really ended the game for us. He has three touchdowns on the day three rushing touchdowns on the day and if I'm not wrong like all three of them came in the second half. Maybe one came in the first half, but all three of them seem like they came in the second half. And they're all within, like, at least a minute of each other. It's crazy. But you can't put this blame on just the blame of this loss on just the defense. You could. It's not one person, it's not one section of the team. Literally everybody is responsible for this loss. You got wide receivers dropping passes in the first half, the offensive line throughout the game. Couldn't provide consistent blocking and consistent uh, running lanes for Saquon. Uh, he got the tight ends not really getting their hands on the ball, similar to the wide receivers that were dropping balls in the first half. You got Daniel Jones under throwing passes to Shepard twice. That should both of them should have been touchdowns. Uh, you got Saquon making some really bad looks in the first half that cost a negative yardage. You know, loss of yardage. You got the defense all over the place, man. The, the commentators for some reason have been praising the run defense and other Giants fans have also been praising the run defense since we got Leonard Williams but my argument towards that is I don't notice a difference and I don't notice a difference because you got plays like what Boston Scott is doing if our run defense is so good and if it's so improved he wouldn't be tearing up this Giants team right now he'd probably be to one touchdown or below one touchdown but he's running all over us I don't like this is probably a topic for another video but I don't really and it looks like Jones just threw a pick well then that if the Boston Scott touchdown didn't seal the fate of this game that certainly did but getting back on Leonard Williams real quick one of the main reasons I don't want to re-sign him is because it's we've had better run defenses against bad teams but it stays the same against good teams so there's no point in re-signing him there really isn't it's better to keep BJ Hill he's on a cheaper contract and it's just easier to keep them all around but getting back to the point here the defensive line you could put the blame on them they didn't do a good job the pass was just like throughout the season did a terrible job middle linebackers they had a lot of blown coverages this game and that you know they once again play a big role in the run defense part which obviously was not good today you could put it on them and you could put it on the secondary too because they had a lot a lot of people burning them man Speaking of which, the rookies this game, listen, I'm not angry or disappointed in them because they're rookies, but they chose like probably one of the worst games of the year to to have those, you know, those mistakes that only rookies make. Like, I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in them, they're rookies. That's, that's part of like learning how to be an elite NFL player. But really, this game, man, y'all couldn't do this like three weeks ago or even last week? this game jeez man this ah uh, i coming off such a great win against the redskins too daniel jones threw five touchdowns zero interceptions looked amazing saquon barkley what was it like near near 300 scrimmage yards or something like that the most in giants history then you come into this game against the Eagles team that is struggling and let's not forget this Eagles team has so many injuries coming into this game all their main we weapons are injured Lane Johnson I believe was out and then during the game they had more injuries Miles Sanders went out and that's how Boston Scott got the starting world during the game Miles Sanders got injured who was at that point you know their main weapon and then their um their guard went out Brandon Brooks or something like that so this Eagles team 
is beyond banged up. They're beyond injured. There is the weakest that the Giants will ever see them in a season, in my opinion. You're not going to see a weaker Eagles team than this one next year or the years going forward simply because of the amount of injuries they had. And the Giants still couldn't do anything. It's crazy to think how bad this team is and how good this team is in one season. The highs are high and the lows are, Jesus Christ, are they low. But man, I don't even know what to say, man. Like the silver lining, and this is probably the first time since week eight that I'm, um, I'm not happy about us losing because like I said, we're already out of the Chase Young race. You know, the race for Chase, we're already out of that. So if we were still in it, I'd be, I'd be kind of happy. But the silver lining is still that I think we're going to stay at the fourth overall pick. Maybe third, but I'm pretty sure we're going to stay at fourth overall. Hopefully we get Andrew Thomas there. Or, you know, maybe they'll do something that nobody could foresee yet. Trade up, trade down, who knows? Draft is all the way in April. That's a long time from now. But that's the only silver lining here, man. And hopefully, hopefully Shermer gets fired. Hopefully the coaching staff gets scrapped. Uh, Y'all know me, that's been my opinion for like, what is this? This is week 17, I want to say at least 14 weeks. <laughs> I thought they should have been gone now. But um, I really got nothing else to say, man. I'm just really, really disappointed. This could have been the chance to knock the Eagles out of the playoffs. What a great way to end the season that would have been. To end our six-game losing streak against the Eagles. We haven't won a game, the New York Giants have not won a game against the Eagles in like the last six time they've played them. That's the last three years. It's crazy to think about that. But leave your comments down below. It's, it's very short, but I, I really don't have much to say. I already told y'all what's gonna happen now that the regular season's over. My season recap. If you guys want me to do any specific videos on any specific playoff uh, games, I will. But other than that, it's mostly recaps and what I think we should do in the off season from here on out. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...